Hey guys, you clicked on this video because you want to learn how to get a pitch on a roof. Now, it's very, very simple and I'm going to show you three different ways you can get a pitch on your roof. I'm going to show you two ways you can manually do it and one way you can do it electronically. Now guys, a little bit about myself. I'm a proud US Navy veteran. I served active duty eight and a half years. I'm a licensed general contractor in nine different states, and I also have my Florida roofing license. We've done projects all the way from Billy up the street, all the way through the United States government. So I just want you guys to have a little bit of a background of who I am and who we are here at Digital Roofing Innovations. Okay guys, so I've already told you a little bit of how this video is gonna go. I'm going to show you two different ways you can measure the pitch or slope of your roof manually and one way electronically. So for this video, we're just going to worry about getting a measurement. We're going to save another video to explain what an actual pitch or slope or what you want to call it rise for your roof actually is. So this video is just going to be about the measurements. But right now I'm going to show you the tools that we're going to use. So first we're going to use a tape measure. Second, we're going to use a pitch and slope locator. The final thing that we're going to use is just a cell phone. Let's go. Now guys, this is the first way that I want to show you how to get the pitch on your roof. Now for many of you, you may have a home that has multiple pitches, so it's always better to get on the roof and be able to do it with the last two ways I'm going to show you. But this is also a way if you can't get all the way up on your roof or if you only have one pitch on your roof. This way can be used, it's been used for years. Now it normally works a little bit better if you have a level, but another way you can kind of get a straight uh, edge here is go ahead and measure before and so the way you do that is you're just going to measure from the ground from wherever you're going to stop on your rake of your roof and then you can put two or three dots in between wherever you're measuring from so you get a straight line so you use the same uh, if it's 10 feet 8 feet 5 feet whatever it is make sure your line runs straight and so all you're going to do is you're going to get started on a point on your run and you're gonna go out 12 inches. And so I've already pre-measured what mine is gonna be. So I'm gonna go ahead and go out one foot, okay? And so now I've got my spot. We know this is even, and I'm gonna measure from there. So it is about just over three, okay? So I know for a fact this roof is about a three and a half to four pitch all across just because I've measured it before, but I'm gonna show you on the other measurement devices, how else you can get the pitch or the slope of your roof. But this is absolutely a way, it's been done for years. And the only other way you can do this is with the level, because you wanna make sure this is level here, because that's gonna affect how much pitch you have. So again, you're gonna go one foot over, and then you're gonna make a mark, and then you're gonna go down. Okay, and that's gonna give you your pitch. So right now we have about a three and a half over 12 pitch on the roof. All right, let's head up the ladder and take a look at the other two ways. Okay guys, so the next thing that I'm gonna show you how to use is, this is uh, Johnson, which I recommend is made right here in the USA. And this is your pitch and slope locator tool. Okay, so what you're wanting to do is, since we're gonna be using this for roofing terms, we're gonna try to get our pitch. Now, your pitch is gonna be somewhere between one, and it could be up to 18 over 12 is what we use. But all you really need to know is what this number is gonna be here. So we're gonna get the pitch of this roof. It's gonna be really low. I'm expecting it to be about a 412 pitch. So just so you can see, uh, there's little numbers right here, and this is probably one of the easiest measurements you're ever gonna make. It's super simple. So all you do is you put this on your roof and read what your pitch is. And sure enough, this one is a 412 pitch. So it's gonna be have a slant just about just like this, okay? So again, super simple, easy tool to use, and it costs about $10. Okay, so the last way I'm gonna show you to get your pitch or the slope of your roof is something very, very simple. And it's free as long as you have a smartphone. So what you need to do is download the application called Pitch Gauge. Okay, Pitch Gauge is free to download. I believe it's on Google Play. I know it's on uh, Apple downloads on your iPhone. So you'll just hit Pitch Finder. 
Now, you may need to calibrate this. Mine has recently been calibrated. Just make sure when you calibrate this, you put it on an even surface, okay? So if you don't put it on an even surface, it could be off a little bit on your calibration. Obviously, it's always great to be able to do this with two different devices, whether it's with your tape, your pitch finder, manual pitch finder, or with your phone, just to compare the two to make sure it's right. But the way we're gonna use this is you wanna make sure it's put down horizontally. Okay. And right now we're getting about a 3.7 pitch on this roof. Okay, we know it's about a four on our other uh, pitch gauge, but this is just a great way for you to be able to get your pitch for free. And it's super easy to use, and all you have to do is get right up on your roof and get it. So I've shown you the three different ways to be able to get the pitch or the slope of your roof. Two of them was with mechanical, and one of them was with your cell phone or electronically. They're all super simple to use. And if you enjoyed my video, guys, please give us a subscribe and a thumbs up on the video. Please check out some of the other videos, particularly on how to measure your roof or what the pitch is actually used for. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. I wanna make these videos super simple and we wanna use a modern approach with traditional values. Have a great day.